Welcome back to the Intelligent Investor Channel. My name is Chris. In this video, we're going to be doing a withdrawal off of MLB Candy NFTs. This withdrawal that I'm doing is from sales that I did in the past from a pack that I bought early in October. If you like videos like this about MLB NFTs, NBA Top Shot NFTs, and different other NFT projects and content about investing overall, please don't forget to hit like on this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification button so I can let you know the next time that I drop a video. So here you can see in my history that back in October when these packs came out for the first time, I bought an Icon pack that cost me $50. I also had purchased an MLB play of the day, which had a price of 25 bucks. Now, since I bought those, you can see that I sold the three moments that I got in the pack. Remind you that the pack cost me $50. I sold Ryan Rollison for 30 bucks. I sold Xavier Edwards for $39. So just with those two purchases, I got my money back and I have a $19 profit. And then on March 25th, I ended up selling my Nolan Gorman for a hundred bucks. So in total, I 3x my money, 330%, 350% if you want to be more technical. And today what I'm going to be doing is the withdrawal process. So you can see exactly what do you need to withdraw off of this platform, what they charge you to withdraw, and how long it takes. So the first thing we see here on the platform is that they say that you need at least $75 in your balance in order to withdraw. So when I sold my first two NFTs, I only had around 65 bucks. So I wasn't able to withdraw until I just made the last sale of 100 bucks. Now that I have 160 bucks in my account, I can go through the withdrawal process. So I'm going to go to withdraw the bank. Um, it says that you can only withdraw you are in the United States or Canada. So I have my bank in the United States. You have to put your routing your account number and you have to confirm your account number now one thing that i want you to note if we go and look for more information about the withdrawal process on the platform there's a few things that you should note. first thing they say is that you can always use your funds and your candy account balance to purchase it in the marketplace and they say that they highly encourage all users to contact their bank prior to requesting a wire transfer to ensure your info matches what the bank has on file for direct wire transfers all earned fees will be pending seven days and you have to verify your id in order for you to get this down here is what I wanted to show you. Users will be able to wire transfer their candy funds directly to their bank account after reaching a balance of $75. A bank fee of $25 bucks will apply for all transfers and can take up to 30 days to be approved by candy. After the request is approved by candy, your bank may take up to three to five days to transfer the funds to your account. Additional fees may be charged by your bank. Down here, it's also interesting that you understand this. Once funds are removed from candy platform, we are now responsible for funds that correctly routed and cannot reverse or refund the withdrawal. A $50 fail wire transfer fee will be applied in case of any errors that are returned to our payment processors. Let me remind you that this is after the 25 bucks you're gonna have to do in order to initiate the transfer. So if for some reason you put the wrong info, in my case, I'm withdrawing 165 bucks, I will only be able to withdraw $90 minus the fee that they're gonna charge. So make sure that you have the right info. All right, so after you have the correct info, Make sure you double check, hit next. Make sure you put the right information of the account holder, the address, state, zip code, city, phone number, and obviously country. Once you have all that info, you're gonna click on this box. Okay, so now you guys see that once you put in that info, you hit that box. They say that the review is in progress. Thank you for adding your bank. By working hard to review your bank info, it may take up to 24 hours. We will notify you when we are done with the review. And now you can close the screen and then just I guess now it's just a waiting game. It says that it could take up to seven days. I seen somewhere else that it could take up to 30 days as well. So I'll definitely be updating you guys and how long it takes me in order to withdraw. But at least now you can see the process. You can see how much it's going to cost. You should be trying to withdraw at least 200 bucks, 160 bucks like I am, because you are going to get hit with that $25 fee. And make sure you have all your info correct, because if not, they're going to charge you with a $50 fee, and you're going to lose a big part of the profits you would have been making. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you like this type of content, please don't forget to like, hit subscribe, and click the notification button. And I'll let you know the next time I launch a video on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.